Hello, fabulous Sagittarius. Welcome to your horoscope for the year of 2016, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. This year continues an important trend for you, but actually heightens it in some very specific ways. And a lot of this trend really comes down to Saturn. So much of the party is happening in your sign, and that's partly because of Saturn. And yours is a mutable sign. What we're having take place this year is what is being called the mutable T square, T cross. Essentially what this is, is that there will be planets set up with Saturn in your sign acting as anchor. On the one side, Neptune, on the other side, Jupiter. And what this says to me, having these placements in such key areas of your sky, in such consequential areas of your sky, what this says to me is that there is a very strong pull towards self-honesty, a very strong pull towards acknowledging where you are so that you can decide the best way to move forward. And really this comes down to not kidding yourself, not kidding yourself, not telling yourself that things are different than they are. Now that's a different thing than aligning your energy with what you desire to experience more of, right? That's a different thing. And then it's another thing to not want to see the truth, not want to see what's actually happening. You've got Saturn right now in your sign. There are times for empowerment. There are times that say, yes, think big and go for it. And if you believe it, you can be it. Yes, absolutely. That is true. But when Saturn is in your sign, it's a little bit different because one of the sacred lessons for you when Saturn is in your sign, and let's say you were a different sign and Saturn was in a different part of the sky, in that area of the sky, you would be learning to surrender, to do your best and surrender the rest, to understand as much as you give is as much as you're going to get, to understand what it means to commit and to see a process through, to awaken and know that there is something in you that is worth pursuing, a happiness that you deserve that is worth working for. That's the best of Saturn, particularly with Saturn in your sign. So Saturn's going to be doing this interesting dance with different power players in the sky. I look at this, I do want to say this, if you were born, like given, you know, where these conversations in particular are taking place, if you were born like between the second and the seventh of the month, okay, um, of December as a Sag, but if you're watching this as your moon sign, you're watching this as a rising sign. For those with sun in Sag, born between those dates, born in the early part, sort of the first week, if you will, of December, this year is going to be that much more meaningful and that much more consequential for you. But having said that, there's also going to be a real desire and a real need for you to check in with yourself, to make sure that you're grounding yourself, because in some ways the universe is going to be saying, look, get real with you. Now you can get real in a way that empowers you, or you can get real with yourself in a way that doesn't, right? That, that, that puts you in a place of feeling down or feeling that uh, life isn't with you. Don't, Look, I can't say to you, don't go there, because if that is one of your sacred lessons, if that is how the universe is going to move you towards greater love and greater wisdom, then that is what it needs to be as part of the greater mystery. However, let me say this. This is about dissolving illusions. This is about getting real with yourself so that you can know what you really need to be happy. This is about acknowledging the truth of where you are so that you can see what work needs to be done. You can come up with a strategy that empowers you to go in the direction that is truly meant for you, that is truly calling you. This is about, in many key ways, being more finely aligned with 
a higher vision for your life. And where it is that uh, you've been in a space where you've been telling yourself that you want this thing and it's so big and it's, you know, it's, it seems so large, might actually be very small thinking for what the universe has planned for you or what the universe could present to you for your life. It might actually be thinking very small of your potential and all the things that are possible for you. So being willing to even see that is how you are going to garner power. And power really is key. Power is written all over the sky this year and that is largely thanks to Mars. It is Mars retrograde season. Mars will be moving in and out of, back and forth between Scorpio and your sign Sag, so the sign just before yours and your sign. And what this tells me is if there's been any kind of, um, whether it's getting in your own way, whether you want to call it self-sabotage, or whether it is a real need to acknowledge the wisdom within you, a real need to acknowledge what your spirit is calling you to do, this is going to be a time that asks you to pay attention and translate that into action. To pay attention to what's happening on very deep levels, emotional levels, and convert that, move that, translate that into ultimately what it is that's gonna to help to define you, to own your power, and to really become the best of you. A more honest version of yourself, a version of yourself that makes you feel strong and clear and direct. Where it comes to love, it is gonna be this very same energy, this Mars energy that I think is gonna speak very strongly because it is about an awakening. So where it is that you might have been in a situation, accepted a situation that isn't so great, you're gonna get real with yourself. Where it is that you, there's been a wall, right? There's been a block. If there has been any of that, because look, you're a Sag. On a very core level, Sag is one of those signs that values their freedom. I mean, I think about, I think Sag and Aquarius, those are very freedom oriented signs. And we could say a couple of other signs out there as well, but Sag, Aquarius, Gemini, these are some of the first signs I think of when I think freedom, who needs freedom, who wants freedom. And so as I look at this, I think to myself that there is a way to give yourself to love and still have the best of you to have the best of you come forward because you're in the right relationship where that isn't the case it will become evident where that is the case that will empower you that much more that love will empower you that much more ultimately in the context of love some very practical changes are going to have to take place for you to feel that much better and that much stronger. The ruling planet of your opposite sign is Mercury and will be retrograde in, during the, the Mercury retrograde periods, they'll be taking place in Earth signs. So what that says is things have to change on a practical level. Your life has to look different where it comes to love. Either that love is gonna strengthen or not. Either you're going to open yourself to greater love, understand if there's been anything getting in the way and having your life look different as a result. That is the bottom line and that is key. And love can't help but change your life in some very practical ways this year. What I love about this year for you is it really is about your happiness. You are doing some work on yourself and you are also coming into your own power. At the same time, you're dissolving illusions. You're realizing that maybe a pipe dream is not as far away um, or not as fantastical or not as fabulous as you thought it would be, that there's actually something that resonates much more deeper to the core of you. And finding that and living that truth is genuine freedom. And at the same time, love gets real. There are advancements happening in the context of love that can't help but create positive situations all around and bring a more genuine love into your life.
akşam seminerimizi canlı olarak mobil uygulamamız üzerinden yapıyoruz. 